Now, in this particular video, we'll be looking at electrocyclic ring opening and how this actually influences the stereochemistry of our particular product. Now, if we look at our reagents in here, we look at these ones, they are kind of similar a little bit, but the only difference that we have in here is this particular region here and that region over there. Now, what we realize is that why these are seen, these ones are not seen at all. So you need to be able to actually take note of that. And that is the key note you have to take or be aware of. Now, next is what we have here. We have electron redrawing groups. And also in here, we have electron redrawing groups. So what that happens in here is that there is a particular pool of electrons going from the nitrogen region over to this downside, the same thing applicable in here. Uh, what we get as a result is the movement of our electrons going this way to form pi bond here and the sigma bond cleaves off to form a lump or lone pair on this particular carbon, thereby generating a positive charge, negative charge here and a positive charge here. The same thing applies to this particular region here and that leads to the formation of our negative charge here and a positive charge on the nitrogen. Now, how many electrons we have in this particular process and how is that influencing the opening of this particular ring first before we go to our next step. Now, you need to understand that this actually is governed by the MOs where first case scenario and the second case scenario actually reveals that hey is the second case scenario which is a higher energy level that gives us the homo and how that actually determines whether it's actually a correlatory process or a dissolutory process now these here in phase refer to each other which is the first mo while the second mo in here with our orthogonal plane here which is another plane is actually out of phase with respect to each other. So what that happens here is that since you have four pi electrons that is common between the first and this other reagent here, then if you fill in here, what we get is that this is actually a homo in the thermostate. Now, what we have now is that to form our bond, we have a correlatory process which leads to the formation of our sigma bond where the head and the, the head and the tail overlaps to form a sigma bond. However, if you want to break our bond, which is what we want in here and in there, we still have a current toy process but in the counterclockwise direction. So what we have as a result is sorry, in a clockwise direction, sorry, otherwise at least is the breakage of our bond which is what we want here and in there. So what do we need to note in here? We note, need to note that these both cases here are actually a con rotatory process that leads to the breakage of our sigma bond and that will actually make us to actually proceed further to actually react this with that and react this with that to form our intermediate which is what we have over in the next step here at 100 degrees Celsius take also note that this here you need to take into account the positioning of our electron redrawing groups where in this first case here we have a nitrogen attached to the phenyl group take note that this nitrogen is positively charged and what we get is this attached to the carbon while this here is attached to the negatively charged carbon and that is attached to our Me here methyl group over there now on the other case here we have our other compound which is drawn here where we have this and that but then since this is pointing downwards and we are performing a current to a process this one positioned itself in this particular down state thereby enable it to actually be underneath this main compound that we have over there now the same thing applies in here but in the other direction where this particular segment of our 
compound here is actually positioned up. So if I redraw this to positively the charge, then we have that the lone pair over our double bond and while on this other side we have our lone pair here with a negative charge and we have a CO2 M E over there now on this other part we do have this triple bond with a C O E T C O2 E T. Now let's look at how we can actually perform our circular addition process. So our circular addition process shows that if we have a lone pair here with our two electrons that forms our sigma bond, this our pi bond forms a sigma bond here, and this our pi bond forms a lone pair on this nitrogen, thereby forming a neutral nitrogen and we have a neutral carbon over here. The same thing applies in here. If you have that, which is our lone pair, lone pair forms a sigma bond. This forms a sigma bond, and that forms a lone pair on the nitrogen, thereby forming a neutral species here and a neutral species in here. So our product, you need to take into account the positioning of our relative segments in this red species here and in the black species over here. The same thing applies here at the bottom. So what we have as a result of this particular circular addition process, which is a sigmotropic, a superficial overlapping of our orbitals will lead to the formation of our compound where this is pointing upwards and we have a nitrogen attached to the phenyl group and in here this region is actually pointing downwards um, E and on this other part we have our double bond still present there and we have a COET and we have a CO2ET and that is how you're able to actually form this while on the other side of the eye our stereochemistry is the opposite in terms of this particular segment here where we have nitrogen attached to the phenyl here and in this particular region we have a CO2 ME uh, we have a double bond over here and what we have is this being in the plane of that particular double bond and this on the plane of a double bond and here we have this actually point in the same direction as the other redrawing group over there so that's about it for this particular video i hope you're able to actually understand this please hit the comment down below let me hear your thoughts and see you all on my next video have a good day peace love you all and be smart Bye.